So if you guys are looking for something to do this Thanksgiving, bacon tidbits are the way to do it. We have Lori, our amazing chef and friend, who created this recipe from her mom and does this during our wine tastings. And we start with water chestnuts. Specifically get the whole ones and cut them into halves, or even if they're a little larger, you might want to cut them into thirds. Then you take a pound of bacon and you cut that into thirds, really just eyeballing it. And then what we do is we wrap each little piece of water chestnut with the bacon and use the toothpick to kind of help roll it along and then skewer it and put it on the tray. And you can see a little closer up exactly how she does this, where she kind of, because it can be slippery, so she uses the toothpick to kind of keep things rolling. And then you just keep doing that. And one can of water chestnuts and um, a pound of bacon should approximately give you 30 to 40 pieces, which is perfect if you're just doing, you know, a few of you at Thanksgiving as an appetizer. And what we do is we put it in the oven for 30 minutes on 350. Then when you take it out, beautiful and brown, but definitely not quite done yet. We still have to add sauce. And the best way to do this is to get a brand new tray. Get the tray, put every little bit in there, and then we're gonna make the sauce. And the sauce is really simple. It's just ketchup and brown sugar mixed into a jar. And then we just spoon it over each individual piece. And you wanna make sure it gets on each piece because that really creates the glaze. And it's easier to spoon it over the top than it is to kind of drag the pieces through sauce because the toothpicks tend to come out. So definitely just spoon it over the top. The other option that you have too is to use barbecue sauce. That is absolutely acceptable. This is your tidbit bacon experience. You can do whatever you want. Like Lori here, she's going to actually add extra glaze because it just didn't seem saucy enough. So she put a double helping and then we put it in the oven for another 30 minutes. And out they come and oh, are they gorgeous. If you guys have ever been to our wine tasting, look at how beautiful that is. So crispy and sweet and delicious. And if you're worried about burning the toothpicks, you can soak the toothpicks ahead of time. And Lori also recommends, chef tip, that you use round toothpicks because they don't break as easily. And here we are sampling these delightful little babies. So good. Thank you so much, Lori. And here's Deb, our director, absolutely enjoying these because they're gluten-free and delicious. So if you wanted something for Thanksgiving and you missed out on the wine tasting because we couldn't have it this year, here we go. Delicious, amazing bacon tidbits. Mm-mm-mm. Lori's famous bacon tidbits, and next year you can enjoy them at the actual annual wine tasting brought to you by the Lawrence Library. Produced by your friendly neighborhood program coordinator. Thank you.